This video is going to be about the basics, the sort of information that you need to know before thinking about working in finance. We are going to talk about the different jobs and roles in the dealing room, or what we call, we professionals, the front office. Then we will expose the whole chain of business inside the bank. I will try to make this video as clear and as concise as possible. Let's start with the dealing room jobs. People that work in the front office are the ones that generate money for the bank. The cash cows, as you may say. So you have what we call the sales. These are the people that are in contact with the client, institutional, corporate, etc. They make offers to these clients and try to close the deal. They basically come up with products like derivatives or a combination of them to answer the client's needs. Then you have the structurers. They are responsible for designing new products that are attractive to the customers. An attractive product would be one that offers a good profit with a low risk and reasonable premium. The premium being what is paid to the bank. Then the traders, made famous by all the movies and articles out there, usually depicted as selfish pricks in the news. Their job is to take necessary steps to eliminate the risk that the contract would incur. So they would buy and sell whatever financial products they need to minimize the sensitivity of the bank's portfolio. Usually, the trader's job shown out in most of the movies and articles has nothing to do with what the great majority of traders are doing. That job is basically what we call prop trading. It entails taking positions in the market based on expectations about the future. For the majority of banks, this kind of activity is not a major one in terms of money allocation and revenue. Some banks are cutting back on it and some did just close that activity down. Finally, the quants. They make and implement mathematical models to price the products defined by the structures and to measure the risk taken. These people usually come from fields like mathematics, physics, engineering, since they need to be analytical and need to understand the mathematical theory. There are other roles that do follow these front office activities. You have risk managers that assess and follow the risk taken by the traders. They usually set up risk limits, for example, that disable the traders from taking additional positions. And you also have the IT that makes sure that all the systems used, the machines, the servers, etc., are constantly up and running. In terms of the business chain inside the bank, you have three main blocks. The first one is the front office, and we have already tackled that. The second is the middle office. Its role is to assist the front with the booking, reporting, and completion of the deals. Then the third block is what we call back office. Its role is to follow the margin calls of counterparties, the posting of margins, accounting, compliance, and basically all the administrative and support services. Well, that's about it. I hope this has been useful. Should I do more videos of this kind? Do let me know by leaving a comment below. And do not hesitate to share the video and click on that like button if you did like it.